Hello everyone, my name is Mary Murray and today I will be talking about the harmful effects of photochemical smog. Photochemical smog is a mixture of pollutants that are formed when nitrogen oxides and violate organic compounds react to the sunlight creating a brown haze above cities. It tends to occur more often in the summer because that is when we have the most sunlight. You might be asking, what pollutants are in smog? Air pollution emitted from the transportation contributes to smog and the poor air quality, which has negative impacts on the health and welfare of the U.S. citizens. Pollutants that contribute to poor air quality include PM, nitrogen oxides, and violate organic compounds. What is smog and photochemical smog? Photochemical smog is the result of the action of the ultraviolet radiation from the sun on atmosphere polluted with pollutants such as nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons. Photochemical smog can take place only in the presence of sunlight. Photochemical smog is a widespread problem in the industry, cities all over the world. Where does photochemical smog come from? Photos Chemical smog is produced when sunlight reacts with nitrogen oxides and at least one violet organic compound in the atmosphere. Nitrogen oxides from the car exhaust, coil power plants, and factory emissions. VOCs are released from gasoline, paints, and many cleaning solvents. The biggest concern about the photochemical smog is the effect it has on people's health. The first pollutant it affects is nitrogen oxides can contribute to problems with heart and lungs and links to decreased resistance to infection. The next pollutant is ozone, which affects coughing and wheezing, eye irritation, and respiratory problems. The next is nitrate, and that affects eye irritation respiratory problems. Photochemical smog can have an effect on the environment, on people's health, and even various materials. One of the ways it affects the environment is the plants. Chemicals such as nitrogen oxides, ozone, and nitrate can have harmful effects on plants. These substances can reduce or even stop growth in plants by reducing photosynthesis, even in small quantities. It can have an impact on the economy in many forms, such as higher rates of asthma, diabetes, or respiratory diseases, leading to reduced ability to work and lower participation rates in the labor force. Children susceptible to asthma attacks also might miss school days, impacting their learning. While well, health care requirements can result in their guardians also taking extra time off of work. You may be asking, what can you do to help? Some ways to help would be keep your motor vehicle regularly serviced and the tires inflated to the manufacturer's specifications. Also, when you trade in your old car, replace it with a fuel-efficient, low-emission car. Also, instead of using a car, try riding a bike or walking. And use buses, trains, whenever you can. If renovating or building, use energy-efficient designs and materials. Make it your goal to purchase green power, power generated from clean, renewable energy sources. Limit your wood fires at home. Wear warmer clothes as your first action to keep warm. If you're buying a slow combustion wood heater, make sure it meets the standard inspections.